Hey there guys, it's Qwerty Afro bringing you another European Ship Simulator video. Uh, still continuing with this uh, series, I really want to catch up and get up to date uh, with the updates that they're doing. So my videos will be the latest videos of what they're updating. So I'm just going to catch up with all the kind of missions that I haven't played yet and just bring them to you in this European Ship Simulator series. Uh, but also before we even start this next mission, um, just to show you a few things, like they've changed the, the layout and stuff of the um, menu, which is nice. It looks a bit like Ship Simulator Extremes, a little bit, you know, on the left, everything on the left, you get a view of your ship, but that's all nice. I still think that this game is much better than Ship, ship Simulator. We're not gonna, we're not gonna have that little bit of an error with my, uh, with my uh, pronunciation of Ship Simulator this video, I promise. But anyway, um, shoutouts go to the football manager and Mermolance, if I've said that right. So it's again the football manager and Mermolance. Their links and stuff will be down below. Please give them some love. And also, hopefully, I'm trying out something a little different with the video settings. I'm, I think I'm recording with 60 FPS. So if you watch my uh, videos in, if you watch videos in 720p or 1080p, this video should now come up as 60 FPS. And I'm going to try and record um, my videos from now with the 60 FPS feature hopefully enabled, I hope it is, like I'm recording it in 60fps, I don't know if it will convert onto YouTube at 60fps, but we'll see, and um, yeah, I'll be doing that more with my videos now with 60fps, so any of you guys that watch 720p or 1080p, enjoy 60fps. Anyway, let's um, continue down, we're on mission 4, which is fishing in Dover, what, what I also like is that now I did like uh, a kind of mission briefing so you can see the kind of weather so like before in the previous video we did um, the Dover to Calais with the, uh, the Ellen bulk carrier and that had no clouds no actually well that's, that's that's a bit wrong there oh but you can no, no, no actually no, I don't I don't know if you can change it but that's that's wrong because there was rain so it's a uh, yeah heavy storm and then there's like no clouds no rain but I'm sure this, the timing and the naming of the ship is all fine, but that, that weather does not look right to me. Yeah, it's weird. I don't I don't think the weather is... Yeah, I don't think they've got the weather. Oh, actually, they do. Light clouds. I don't know. Uh, the weather's a bit wrong, but hopefully that'll be something fixed uh, later on. But anyway, we're going to be doing Fishing in Dover, which is actually a, a one of the other vessels, because we're going on to now another vessel. And it is a fishing boat, and it is Collect the Catch from the Fishing Net. So, let's begin it. I still commend the really quick loading times into the game, like that was just insanely fast, no waiting. I remember in Ship Simulator Extremes or even the past Ship Simulators, literally the loading time in uh, into uh, <laughs> into a, uh, a game was just forever. Also another thing to take note of is that there is another camera view, which we can see here. This is a dynamic uh, flyby camera, which... Uh, you can kind of think about it like, you know, as the train sim flyby camera, but for ships. Um, also, to read, good morning, Skipper. It's a bit late, so we would hurry to collect the day, uh, the day's catch. That's probably, they didn't put an apostrophe in yet. Catch uh, from the fishing nets. Just be careful not to get sunburned. Let's leave the harbour. Sure, let's go for it. Let me just zoom in a little bit on this map so we can just have a look what we're having. Let's increase this, this ship, is uh, this um, boat ship. Uh, trawler, if you want to call it, uh, is quite slow. It's not the fastest thing, so we might even have to just, you know, floor it, but put the power on a little bit more because it is, it is slow. It's not, it's not fast, but you know, not all the ships in this game or in real life are, you know, fast or go really fast and get you to A to, a, a to B really quickly. But this is obviously a little like fishing trawler, quite a nice old design as well. Um, I like it. Now, we're just going to be turning out here from this little docking area that we were in, and we're going to go out here through the... We've already sh I've already shown you this area here in the first video with the tugboat. We'll just be doing this with the, um, the fishing boat. So hopefully, And I like this dynamic camera. It's really nice. It's, it's a shame you can't zoom or move it around or like go on free cam, which is something I would really want in a future update if they're going to do something like that. And that is not my horn. My horn is... Actually, we both have the same horn, but that wasn't me who, who put it on. Uh, also, you have uh, tags. So now you can actually see um, boats can be, you know, tagged up really nicely. 
I don't know if this is... Uh, uh, the game will not come with multiplayer at launch, but hopefully maybe down the line, multiplayer would be a cool option to have. Uh, so, you know, these tags, you know, would substitute as, like, you know, good name tags or, like, you know, multiplayer. But I definitely know that uh, in uh, the launch of the game, definitely no multiplayer. But something definitely good to see in the future of the, uh, the life cycle of this game, a multiplayer would be really cool. I don't know if anyone has anyone actually um, who uh, who had Ship Simulator uh, Extremes or 2008 or 10 or have or I don't even know how many were that there were there but they had the multiplayer. Um, did anyone actually play the multiplayer? I played it a little bit. Uh, it wasn't really that good because you couldn't really do much in it. You could just spawn uh, as a ship and you just drive around. You couldn't even do missions within the multiplayer, which I found really annoying. So hopefully, maybe eventually in this game's life cycle. A multiplayer would be really nice to actually have and and um, you know play around with friends or whatever also another thing is like I've also been playing um, I've got uh, naval action which uh, is a you know a uh, like more of a kind of uh, olden style ship simulator combat game but also the thing what they're doing with that game is that they're going to make an open world etc and I was uh, I'm thinking maybe in the future I'll do some content on it if you guys want me to I am really enjoying that game as well, so I'm quite into the ships in uh, genre. I'm doing Transocean on Twitch, um, I'm doing this on YouTube, and then maybe eventually maybe some naval action on the stream and on YouTube as well. So I'm getting back in touch with my ship routes because, as I said in previous videos, I actually prefer ships to trains. And people might be like, oh my god, <laughs> unsubscribe. You, you, you traitor, you do not like the metal wheels on the track. Um, well, I've kind of grown up more with boats at the beginning of my life. And I've always liked boats and I will always cherish boats. Because I, uh, like my, as I said, I, I've, I've talked about it quite a lot. My grandparents own a boat and when I was little with my sister, uh, we would go on it every time we visited uh, visited them and it was just you know experiences on a boat are just so nice and I just loved going sailing I loved you know traveling around by by water visiting different islands etc and it was just it's such an experience on a boat and even though I do like my trains don't get me wrong I do like my trains but I just I prefer boats and I prefer ships and there's just something there's just just something that different that catches me uh, that catches my eye differently with like a boat or whatever. Uh, th th to me, they're like more humble. They're more like the, 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 probably the most humble uh, uh, transportation kind of um, method. They're just it, it, they're not they're not they're, they're quite elegant. Okay, not every ship is elegant or whatever, but they're quite elegant. They're not. It's not a rush. Um, you, it's not a rushful kind of way of traveling from A to B. It's quite a nice way. You get nice views. Uh, I like the motion. I know most people that go on boats might not like, you know, boats because of motion sickness, etc. Uh, I do like the motion. I think I've talked about it before in, pre in, in, in the previous ship sim. I just love just sleeping on a boat, just having that nice rocking, and uh, it, it's just great. And that, that's in a way why I, in a way, prefer boats more to trains. Like I do like playing my, you know, my train sims and whatever. But I'm starting to really get enjoy these kind of boat games and these ship kind of games that are related to ships. Like naval action, I'm really enjoying. It's like a game I I kind of got into myself, and I don't actually have to like you know commit it to YouTube or, or anything. It's just like a game I play by myself and just in my own personal time. Because most of these games, like trains and whatever, I used to play more in my personal time. But now uh, it's become so much part of my YouTube um, space that it, it, it doesn't really become a game that I just go one day I just go on and like okay I'm just gonna drive by myself because I play so much of it for YouTube I play so much for it for streams it doesn't really feel, it doesn't it doesn't make me feel that I need to uh, you know play it by myself because I kind of lose the it doesn't have its I prefer its value when I play it when when I'm doing it like for you guys on YouTube or on the stream or whatever because it just it just it just feels much more better in a way. But I do sometimes, obviously, play it by myself, and I kind of enjoy it. like sometimes when new routes come out, I would play it first before I do a video and just kind of enjoy it. like the Forest Rail. I've been playing quite a bit, 
and uh, that will have a video eventually. <laughs> also, one thing I noticed is that the backsplash of uh, the backsplash of water is kind of missing. I don't know if it's just for this boat, but maybe it's because it's not going that fast. Well, but honestly, this boat is pretty slow. There's not much to explore around this boat. You have a very small area you can walk around. I, I'm still. As I said, hoping in the future you'd be able to walk a bit more, like, you know, more around. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can walk, uh, like, a bit more around the whole vessel instead of just, like, these little confined, um, uh, you know, like, the bridge of a ship or a helm or whatever. I would like to walk around and, you know, just, you know, have different positions where I can view, you know, the sea or the coast or whatever I'm passing by, etc. I love it that in, in, in the walking view, you, can just, you know, you can just control the, 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 the controls and whatever, which is really nice. I still don't know if there's actually a way of bringing up the controls in, in walking view on the screen. Uh, the only way you get them on the screen is like if you go on the external view. When you're on the helm view, you just have the, the helm controls right here in front of you. You can't move anywhere. You can only, like, you know, turn 360 degrees. Uh, and, yeah, that's pretty much it. But... But this is quite nice. I like the dynamic camera now. That they're adding stuff in. You see, this is this is really good. Like I like this in early access, where it's just it's kind of building up really nicely. And also, in a future coming update, they're going to be adding a mission editor, so people can actually make scenarios, which is also going to be something that they want to you know integrate with like Steam Workshop, which is pretty good. I wish I could, I wish I need to, I really do need to get updated with this game, with like, I need to get updated on YouTube with it, I want to be literally at the point where they are right now, where they've actually released a new ship, uh, they've released the um, a cruiser ship, which um, I will definitely make a video of on it, but I'm, as, as I said, I'm going through, um, okay, I think we're going to the, going past the waypoint right now, <laughs> and... Hold up. Oh, there we go. Do we have a mission? Do I have to keep... <laughs> That's weird. Okay, I have to keep clicking it weirdly. Okay, the nets are... The nets are, um, are near. The shore, if you remember. Let's go and get the first one. You'll have to stop the boat to collect the day's fish cat. Where is this? Where am I looking at? I'm looking at here. Oh snap! We need it. We need a turn. We definitely do need a turn. But this boat is pretty slow. I'm not. I'm really not gonna lie. But you know, it's a nice little majestic, little nice vessel. It's 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 probably not made to go fast in real life. So you know, most trawlers don't. It's a fishing trawler, so it's quite an old one. I have to admit, it'd be cool to get some like, kind of modern trawlers in the game eventually. Like, you know, some of the kind of really high-tech modern ones with netting and stuff, and it'd be really cool if they actually worked on, like, cool mechanics to kind of cast nets and stuff. Because I know, I know it's still early days. It's still pretty, pretty much early days with this game. But I'd like to see what... Um, Okay, I cannot clear this message, which is annoying. <laughs> It'll just have to remain there. But surely that's not too much of an issue. So what is that? That is a coast guard. So we have a coast guard. I don't know. I don't think you can drive that boat yet. I don't think you can drive it. Maybe soon that will be available to do some maybe coast guard duties. Anyway, I hope more stuff. Uh, I hope they kind of change up some stuff as well, because right now it does feel it does feel that they're kind of just replicating Ship Simulator Extremes, but just you know updating. They've changed the kind of you know water and whatever. But so far, it does really feel it does feel like Ship Simulator. The kind of model still feels like Ship Simulator Extreme. You just have like you know pick a ship, and you have like a you know objective to go to, and that's it. I hope they change it up a bit and you know put something in that we haven't seen yet in the Ship Simulator genre. And I'm I, I hope they will because so far, even with the limited amount of boats, uh, the kind of simple gameplay of just you know driving to a um, a waypoint, doing something, tying up docking or whatever, it does feel better than Ship Simulator Extremes by a long margin. 
obviously more work has to be done with um, you know the water uh, animations and dynamics of like you know the the ship reacting to uh, to the water uh, obviously different waves and stuff the waves are actually pretty damn good like if you saw in the previous video when I was driving the Ellen the bulk carrier uh, or just bulk carrier Ellen I don't even know how we should just address her but the waves were really cool once we like we got out we got out of um, we got out of uh, uh, what was it Calais and um, the waves were just hit like literally affecting the boat so well and it, it, it was just really really cool and let's have a look here what we are doing just sailing on also the details on the shore um, like I'm I'm not too fussed about it right now. It would be cool if a bit more detail was paid uh, like uh, attention to. I ho like hopefully it would be cool. And I'm, I'm I'm saying this right now. It would be really cool if if this kind of game could have something like in the way where FSX has like scenery scenery packs or something like that. It it would be cool if people did scenery packs for ports. Like because I know there'll be people that want detailed ports. And this is pretty much like standard FSX scenery. Probably just, uh, probably better. There's quite a bit more stuff, quite a bit more buildings or whatever. But it would be cool if the game would allow people to edit the ports and, you know, add scenery, uh, textures and stuff like that. Where people can, you know, just make packs and stuff for, you know, people to download or buy or whatever. I don't, I don't know how, how it would work. But I definitely, I definitely could see something where like you know this like this port Dover like this is probably not a detailed port of Dover let's be honest but it would be cool if if like you know even if they did something like if they updated the port of Dover and did like a little charge of DLC or something like that but then that's kind of weird if a developer releases you a game and they give you DLC choices to make it visually look better, then you kind of think, well, they could have just added that then. But it would be cool to maybe see user content, user generated content, where people actually make um, very detailed ports and stuff like that, because I would definitely get something that would make it a lot better. Um, and, and also, like, interactions between, like, say, if you have a ferry and uh, you dock to like get cars on or cars off I would like to see like you know some car animations driving off um, like you know the bridge or whatever that connects to the ferry uh, you know the animations like you know you have the jetways and stuff in FSX on some scenery packs or whatever like some kind of like you know car driveways to connect to like the ferry or whatever or you, you know when you dock with a cargo carrier or something I want you know cranes lifting the cargo out of the ship onto the dock uh, or you know lifting the cargo from the dock to the ship or something with like this boat would be really cool to have you know fish like if I could get to this waypoint right now probably fish won't be put on board but it would be cool to you know have fish get put on board and then I drop it off somewhere and it gets you know cr craned out or lifted out by people or something like that just to add that you know that because I think most people um, I think most simulations these days most of like the, the big ones like it, it's well it's welcome back um, <laughs> with many problems uh, with this game it, well this game has a few problems but not many but the main problem I have with it is that it likes to crash from time to time which I find really really annoying so um, you know progress was halted there but uh, don't worry I catched up to where we where we crashed sort of I don't know well not crashed we didn't physically crashed but the game crashed um, yeah I kind of find when you're in the external camera a bit it it I think it's only the, the crashes I've had have only been in the external camera for some reason the external camera is the one that sets off the track I've never crashed in this view I've never crashed in any of the other views so for me I don't know it's I think it's something to do with the um the the the, the external like camera that you view that your ship all around uh the dynamic camera doesn't seem to make it crash or any of the others the walk the walkabout one or the helm camera the bridge camera 
Uh, but yeah, it's... I don't know. Uh, that's the only kind of real problem I have with this game. It tends to crash from time to time. Some um, missions it doesn't, like the bolt carrier one didn't crash at all. Actually, it did, actually. I'm lying. Some of them, like, I've tried a few of them, but most of them tend not to crash. But um, I do have that problem where it does sometimes crash, and it is with the external camera. So I might kind of not go on that too much in this uh, mission. Like, look at the dynamic. The dynamic camera's fine as well. Anyway, we're nearly here. We're going to have to slow down soon because obviously we need to, you know, catch the fish. Well, collect the fish because it's on a, one of those things that has probably ever, I mean, below it. It's a trap or something that has all the fish in it. And we just have to pull it out and um, have it on the boat. So. The nets are near the shore, if you remember, yep, yeah, let's go get this one, uh, you'll have to stop the boat and collect the day's catch. So right now, coming up to the day's catch, we're going to have to slowly ease off. I'm going to ease off right now. But we're going quite slow anyway, so I'm going to put it in... Um, reverse so we can kind of just we arrived but the net uh, but I can't get the net to the whilst making please stop the boat skipper yes I will and I'll get rid of this annoying like the arrow is literally just this huge arrow behind you it's crazy Excellent, therefore, let's uh, get the other one and go back home to weigh them. Where is the other one? Is it, is it, oh, it's over there. Let's go and get it. The engine does take quite a long time on this boat to, like, ignite, go. <laughs> but it's alright. Did we collect any fish? No, we didn't. Oh, that's it. And the, the thing's still there. See, it would be nice to have something that shows that you've done something. So, like, you know, have a bit of fish on the boat. That would be really cool. Just just to show that you've actually, you know, you've done something. You've, you've gone, you've collected, and it's, it's all good. Let's go back to the bridge camera. I think the bridge camera is basically the most stable camera in the game. I generally wish there was like more to like you know walk around would be really really nice because like literally the only place I have really to walk around is just up here I want to go down there I want to go you know maybe inside as well I have my little you know office inside the ship if I'm a fisherman I want my little you know like place where I do all the the details like of what I'm you know catching and stuff. <laughs> I also noticed that you have like these kind of floodlights that you know in the night time you have so you would have let's just go back to this view as well um, you can have that so in the night time you can like you know see where you're going or whatever which is really cool so when you're fishing the light shines on down there like what what what, what you're like you know what your catch is and where the, where the catch is or whatever which is really cool and then obviously you then have your navigation lights which you know one at the front and then some at the back if I quickly show you there it's pretty good the green red it's all good I think I actually know all the kind of navigation stuff with those lights the the, the night lights and stuff like that like my uncle taught me uh, all about them because he as I said he's a first officer on the ship so uh, he yeah he's kind of and, and also my granddad taught me like all the kind of signals and stuff like that of like in the night time of what like you when an approaching vessel or whatever is coming towards you what's the kind of right right of way what does it indicate when you see um the lights in a certain you know when one's on one side when one's on the other side that means that ship is basically facing that way going this way you should be on that side of it whatever so it's it's quite you know it's quite it's quite interesting Anyway, I'm going to have to slow down a little bit here to pick up the catch. We are here. Please stop the boat again. Yes, sir. It does, it does like to slow down really slowly, I'm not going to lie. 
it goes slow and it stops slow and I need to turn off this annoying arrow <laughs> just you know it's like a big arrow above me right and there we go great haul we're very lucky let's go back to the port and put this catch on sale and I'm guessing I'm gonna have to where am I going going back to the port okay cool let's do this if engines reignite assemble <laughs> I'm gonna actually fast forward the video a little bit and um, I will basically see you at the port because you've pretty much sailed all the way here we know um, you know what to expect so I don't want to bore you guys too much of just you know sailing back the same way and and uh, <laughs> you know um, we've, we've got here we've got the fish and I'll um, basically resume it once we are near the port to sell um, to get into uh, well I'll resume the video when we are in the port and we're ready to you know uh, dock and uh, sell this fish so I'll and we're now there. approaching the docking place which we're going to be dropping off these fish as you can actually see at the bottom of the screen 92% fuel left so we used 8% on this actual total fuel, um, journey which is actually interesting to think that if, if fuel is going to be an actual factor will there actually be you know fueling places to you know go and fuel up your vessel which would be really cool to, to see but yes, we are cruising along. It's not far. Six knots is really not far. This is pretty much how fast my actual boat goes. It's it, but the thing the thing is, it it's it. I like you know. It's it's better to me. It's nice having a boat that goes really really slow because you can then take in the views when you're going to like you know when you're in an exotic place or whatever like you know islands and stuff like that. You can take in the views. You can relax. It's not. Boat travel, I think, if you're doing it for like a nice leisure kind of way, like if you're going somewhere, you know, docking there a bit, going somewhere else, you know, swimming there, you know, doing, well, why rush? Why go with a speedboat and just completely blitz it in, I don't know, uh, and it's uncomfortable. Speedboats are very uncomfortable. If it's wavy and choppy, speedboats are <laughs> they're not the most comfortable. I've been on speedboats and trust me even the most tiniest of waves makes it you know you're, you're fudding up and down it's not smooth unless you're on like something really huge that's just you know cutting the water like like a fish I mean let's have a quick look what we're doing we're just going straight up here into this middle bit we came from uh, just to the right of there just in front of that house but I think we're just gonna go literally straight forward here to kind of drop off the fish I hope I think we're gonna have to slow down maybe Hopefully nothing too much. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost good. We can do it with the dynamic camera. We'll home in with the dynamic camera. <laughs> but it's good. So far, nice nice little scenario to do. Very, very cool. Like, you know, uh, just pick up your fish and go and drop them off. Like, why not? Very little fishing boat scenario. As I said, more modern fishing boats would be really cool to have. Okay, we need to now slow the hail down. There you can see another, I think that's a tough boat. Right, we need to, we really do need to slow down right now because we could crash. And we're docking here, which is weird. This is really, this is a weird place to, um, to, uh, ooh, are we gonna, I think we might nudge it a bit. Are we going to hit it? No, we haven't. Good. Is this enough? Or do we actually... Oh, we have to... Or do we have to actually... We have to actually go to the actual mark place because I think... Yeah, we have to... Actually, I'm pretty confused. We're pretty much near the arrow. But I'm going to reverse a little bit. I'm going to reverse a little bit and then just kind of turn in. But I think the reversing of this this vessel's pretty slow like the rest. Come on, let's go a little bit backwards, please. Oh, 
So we need to put some more power. There we go. And that should be enough. And now we need to turn the rudder left. Oh, whoa. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> Can we get a little bit of speed? Right, here we go. Coming in. Hopefully this will be alright. River Ride, please mow, mow the bell. Oh! Um, do I... Oh, there we go. <laughs> we still haven't had any kind of missions where we actually use ropes and stuff to kind of, you know... The only kind of missions we've used ropes is in the first mission where we had to actually like tow a um, a ship with the tugboat, but we haven't actually been able to you know like stop more and actually use ropes to you know tie ourselves to a uh, to a docking point. So maybe in the future episodes we'll see if we um, have to use that. But hopefully, um, as I said, this is, this game is in early access. It is available on Steam. I would, as I've always said in the kind of videos that I've done, if you are interested in ships, you've played Ship Simulator, and you've maybe liked that at one point, but then kind of gone off it, or if you still even like it, I would definitely invest into this because this is definitely a much better team that are working on it and developing it. They're listening to the community. They're very active on the Steam forums. So I would definitely get involved if you are interested. Anyway, again, the shout outs for this video go to the Football Manager and Mermelance. That's again, the Football Manager and Mermelance. Their links and stuff will be down below. Show them some love. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoy making it. Like the video if you um, like it, and uh, subscribe for uh, all my like content so you get notified when I post a video. And if you have uh, problems with your um, subscriber module, uh, please use uh, please use and like our Facebook page. That's where we post like pr pretty much most of the updates. Or Google Plus, you'll see there where um, when um, uploads are uploaded, we post them everywhere there. And um, Join the discussion with our little community on the Quirky Afro forums, forums. That's at quirkyafro.co.uk slash forums. If you want to, you know, discuss some stuff with the community, we have quite a lot. Of, uh, we have like 83 members on the forum, so kind of a semi-active forum, and we need more people on it to kind of make it a nice, healthy forum to, you know, get discussions going or whatever. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this European Ship Simulator uh, Mission 4 with the fishing boat. Uh, the next mission, I don't know what it is, but uh, I can't wait to bring that to you. Uh, join me in the next uh, European Ship Simulator video or any other video that I post before that or after that. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care. Have a nice day. We ain't